a baby years of Krishna, uh, Bala, 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 Bala Krishna. And if you're talking about the elders, naturally, they're not going to sing about conjugal affairs. So the elders sing about Krishna's birth, the Janma, yeah? Krishna's Janma then. In the assembly of his friends, they sing of his pastime of defeating Devtas during his Pauganda age. Very true, this is Sakyaras. In the assembly of devotees, they sing about his great mercy to sinful entities like Kaliya. So this could be any, any and could be any sector. It could be those in neutrality, whatever. And then in the assembly of the gopis, they sing the pastimes of Purvarat. And Purvarat, of course, means uh, that initial attraction. Purvarat means the erotic ras. Madhurya Ras. So you can see all these different personalities, uh, elders, friends, sakas, uh, dashas, and, and trainees. You can say trainee. We never use the word trainee, but when I was young, there was a group, a group called trainees. I forget which, which group it was, but they were trainees. So uh, all of these are trainees, but in Madhurya Ras, then these trainees are most. Uh, recognizable. So it says, when ordinary devotees faint on hearing songs about Krishna, observers cannot understand whether they are happy or suffering. It's always when you see somebody fainting, you think, oh no, they're sick, they didn't eat, they have a disease. You know, somebody's fainting, we immediately rush, you call the doctor, generally call an ambulance. And generally, we do not think these people are happy, they fainted in ecstasy, huh? do we? Especially, of course. <laughs> and generally, they don't faint because they're in ecstasy, unless they're in Krishna's temple. And still, they may not faint in ecstasy. 